Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are taking a look at the former Rolleston to Mansfield line. I am here today at Rolleston station. This is the village of Rolleston in Nottinghamshire and it's right near Savile Racecourse. Now as we can see the station is quite deserted today. This is on Sunday. As we can see there is actually no um, service board to tell us when the next services are so it leads me to believe this is a request stop but we can see the old station building there on the left on the um, Nottingham bound platform I'm standing on the Lincoln bound platform and we are looking back towards Nottingham that way and here we are looking towards Lincoln but not far down there is roughly where the line to Sovel and then on to Mansfield ran right behind this shrub. So we will now head off to the town of Sovel and go and see what remains of the station there. So as we've got the level crossing here at Rolleston, if I pan left to these trees, you can see where the road to the um, race courses which takes you into there however down here is the route of the road to Sovel for the route for all traffic on Zubal for HGVs that there is where the old railway departing Sovel runs so it used to go from here round here and where that car's coming up all the way down that way to Sovel and as we can see, there's the impressive Sovel race course. Doesn't seem to have any meetings at the moment, but it's very nice regardless. So yeah, Rolleston serves sort of as a catchment area for both the town of Sovel, which is around a mile north, and its race course. So this does get quite well used during race meetings and that. So we'll head into Sovel now. So that's the track bed heading back towards Rolleston. As we can see it's overgrown today off Fiskerton Road. And just across the road is where the track bed heads into towards Sovel and Mansfield. As we can see it's mostly traceable but quite overgrown and now been ploughed through by a field. So we're we'll heading to now into Sovel and we'll see what uh, remains of Sovel Station. So that is Sovel Minster, the Minster Cathedral and Parish Church of the town of Sovel, um, one of Nottinghamshire's oldest buildings and a Grade 1 listed building. It's a um, beautiful building indeed, has, um, is a Grade 1 listed building and is really the only other cathedral in Nottinghamshire after Nottingham Cathedral. So this was Sovel Minster, we'll now head off to find the old station at Sovel.
So as we can see, that's Suvall Station, serving the town of Suvall. It's now private residence and is sometimes open to B&Bs. Um, I'm standing across the road from it. As we can see, it survives as a private residence and can be rented out for hotels. And across the way is here at the final Whistle Pub. So that's this is Suvall Station. I shall see you all at the next one. So as we can see, this is the track bed at Suvall. Um, this is the Suvall Trail. This is the terminus of it at Suvall. That goes down as far as roughly Farnsfield. And as we pan back around, just beyond that gate is the, state, is the old station house, which is now a private residence. And here beyond the shrub, as I showed you earlier, is the final whistle pub, which pays homage to the old railway station. Now this is where the Suvall Trail ends and disappears beyond that wall, where it's now built on by housing, into the town and back to Rolleston. And then as we pan back around here to the Suvall Trail, the track bed begins towards Mansfield. So this was Suvall Station. I shall see you all at the next one. So this is Kirklington and Eddingley Station. This served the villages of Kirklington and Eddingley in Nottinghamshire. As we can see, the station building survives as a private residence. The Suvall Trail comes through here along the old railway. However, as we can see, there's a nice bit here of what looks like a platform. However, the thing to point out is that back under that tunnel is actually part of the original platform and the road coming to and from Station Road to the trail for the car park cuts between the two sides. So the platform looks like it splits in half. It's been split in half to let access between the road and the car park, but the, both sides of the platform still remain. The station buildings we can see remains as a private residence, as does what looks like the old way office as you go up the road towards Station Road. Um, as well as the road carrying the 
station road, sorry, the road bridge carrying station road over the old railway. So this was Kirklington and Eddingley station. We'll now head to the next one. So that there is Farnsfield Station. This is the village of Farnsfield in Nottinghamshire. And as we can see, it is now a private residence. A modern house has been built next to the station, the white building behind. But as we can see, it's now a private residence. Can't really see the trace of the platform, but that's the track bed towards the Soville Trail, which looks like it's an unmarked footpath. The station building survives as a private residence. And that's looking back towards Suvall and Rolleston. And that is looking towards Mansfield. So we can see new developments have plopped up next to the old railway here at Farnsfield, but the track bed is still very much discernible. So this was Farnsfield. We'll now head to the next one. So roughly around here is the site of Blidworth and Rainworth Station. This served the villages of Blidworth and Rainworth in Nottinghamshire, near the town of Mansfield. And as we can see today, houses and a bunch of trees, as well as roads, occupy the site of the old station. The housing estate known as Curzon Close sits on the site of the station. And really there's no evidence left of the old station in the area now occupied by residential developments. So this was Blidworth and Rainworth Station. We will now head to the site of the old station at Sutton Junction and then we'll wrap up from there. So I shall see you all at Sutton Junction.
So this here is the site of Sutton Junction Station. This served the town of Sutton in Ashfield in Nottinghamshire. And as we can see today, the line through here form part of the modern day Robin Hood line between Nottingham and Worksop via Mansfield. The old station used to be on that side of the level crossing there. And across here is the other side of the junction. So this is where the original line from Rolleston to Mansfield actually came into. It only got spurred into Mansfield later on in its operating years, but this used to be where it roughly came on to join the line to Nottingham and Mansfield. So, this is Sutton Junction Station. This will bring an end to this coverage of the Rolleston to Mansfield line. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, share and subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now.